What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be going over how you can get Alolan Vulpix in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Alolan Vulpix is the only Alolan Pokemon that is going to be available in this game at time of release. And in order to get Alolan Vulpix, you have to quell the Frenzied Noble Avalog. After which, you are going to be getting this side mission on the board over here. Kika, a Security Corps member from Alola, has several Vulpix, but he calls them Kio Kio. Track him down and see what his request entails. Well, fantastic. From here, we're going to be making our way to the Snowfields camp. And right here is the person that we need to sp speak to. They say Alola, so you kind of have a good idea on who it is. Just the person I've been waiting for. My Kio Kio wandered off to go play, but they haven't come back. Do you think you could help me find them? Do you mean Vulpix? Oh, I'm sorry. Back home in Alola, Vulpix were called Kio Kio, you see. Ken Ken. I'm pretty sure Vulpix's cry doesn't say Ken Ken, but okay. Did you not go play with the rest? Hi, Vulpix. This is what a lowland Vulpix looks like. They blend right in with the snow with their white fur. Cool. They're going to be located around avalanche slopes. I actually don't have a map of where they are, so I'm going to be going through, and when I find them, I'm going to be showing you where they are and then marking them on the map. And then just probably showing you on a map of where they all are. I'm making this video instead of making the rare Pokemon video. Well, because there's no rare Pokemon here. Literally every single Pokemon that's needed for this area is like either 100% readily available. The rarest thing is Snover at 22%, but it's next to where Obama Snow is and there's an alpha. So like, why would I, you know? And the location of these can be a little bit difficult for some. You actually have to interact with the Vulpix, which actually makes it very simple for me to mark them on maps. Thank you, Vulpix. This is my first one right here. Pretty sure there's a wisp on this exact pillar at night. Now, if you're on Braviary and you just keep pan down, you can typically find them pretty easily. I think they're all next to Cliff's edges. Oh, that one spawned inside of Chansey, cool. Weird enough though, Vulpix spawned in before Chansey. So let's go ahead and mark this one on the map. Kill, kill. Is Garchomp sleeping? No, he's up. Okay. But I'm pretty sure right past Garchomp. Oh, there it is. Overlooking Garchomp. This Vulpix is right here. Kill, kill. Oh, Khan. Khan is closer. Khan is definitely a closer sound. Wow, this one actually blended in with the rocks pretty well. Like, if you look at those rocks where that Vulpix is, that is not obvious. Frostlass is underneath us right now, just crying away, being super annoying. Ken? Were they all looking toward the middle? If I like triangulate to the middle, is there one right there? Is that how that works? Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty neat. I mean, pretty close to where I thought the middle would be. But here is the fifth Vulpix right there. There you go. All five Vulpix. Kion. That one's a closer one. That's now all five of the Vulpixes. Back at the camp, Kiyoka <laughs> says, uh, they're all back safe and sound. Sure are. And my reward is a large experience candy. But this Vulpix is like, hey, yo, this guy. This one is taking a liking to you. How? I, I've, I haven't been here at all. This is the one that was standing next to you the whole time. Yeah? And then you just get Vulpix. You don't even get an option. You just get it. Getting this Vulpix is going to be the completion of the quest, investigate Vulpix from the Alola region, and also different number of forms you have obtained. And by the way, a little pro tip, oh, we have to go turn it into the professor real quick. 370 points away. I'm like trying to not get my score up right now, just so it's gonna happen naturally during a video. While you're on here, you can use L and R to actually swap between the two different models, and then that's gonna be the one that's gonna be visible on the Pokedex page. If you didn't know, you could also do that for your shiny Pokemon or your alpha Pokemon. So you can use the plus button to swap between alpha and regular, and you can use L and R to swap between the different models, and then minus for the color as well. And that's going to be the Pokemon that's gonna be appearing right below me on the Pokedex page, which is pretty cool. Like the first time that like your shiny version of your Pokemon can actually be represented well in the Pokedex, love it. Just as Vulpix normally evolves with the Fire Stone, Alolan Vulpix evolves with the Ice Stone. It's one of the few Pokemon that actually require it. And you don't have to evolve this Vulpix, 
I mean, if you want, you know, the image of Alolan Ninetales in your Pokedex, then yes, you do want to evolve it. That way you could swap between the different colors. But again, it's not really a different Pokedex entry or anything else. It's just a differently colored one. However, it is required if you want the Pokedex chapter of different number of forms you've obtained. So if you're going for 100% on Ninetales, then yes, you do need to evolve this Vulpix. And boom, just like that, we could swap it. It's got long snoot, it's got short snoot, big eyes. Much more anime looking. Oh, let's also go talk to you, because it did another thing. 50 points. Ah, oh, so close! And ice stones, you get, you, you get them everywhere. I'm not going to tell you where to get ice stones. Like, go around this area, collect some materials, complete the Pokedex area, you're going to get it. Great. <laughs> one small little note about this Vulpix. This is the only one that you are going to be getting in the entire game. You cannot get another one. If you release this Vulpix or Ninetales, you're not getting another. It is shiny locked. It cannot be shiny. It's just going to be one solid Vulpix, predetermined weight, height, shiny status. Everything about this Vulpix is predetermined. It's never going to be different. In addition, outside of legendary Pokemon that may have more than one form, this is the only non-legendary Pokemon that is going to prevent you from having a full form living dex. Meaning that, for example, if you wanted to have Vulpix and Alolan Vulpix, Ninetales and Alolan Ninetales, that cannot be achieved with one save without trading because this is only one Pokemon. If you evolve it, not getting it back. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you're going to be getting Alolan Vulpix and Ninetales in Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you found this helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.